talk to you today about, you know, loving yourself. I think it's one of the most hardest things for any of us to do. Because, you know, I suppose we're so busy in life and we're all the time being told, you know, we're, that's greedy or that's selfish or, or that's mean if you're loving you. You know, sometimes maybe to buy an ice cream for yourself, it could be that simple in that way. And I would just say to you, we all have to love ourselves a little bit more because, you know, you have a soul, that spark of light of God, and that is radiant with pure love. That's the soul is the thing that touches our heart touches our, our human mind, touches ourselves. And we have this enormous possibility to love ourselves. And I always say, because the angels have always said to me, you have to love yourself in order to love life itself, in order to love others, in order to love nature, and animals and and not to be scared all of the time because sometimes God has shown me that you know especially in the world today so many of us are scared of nature we're afraid of it you know we have forgotten to love and in a sense we have you know, put that iron strap, I would say, around our chest, where our heart is. And we have tightened it so tight that so many of us, you know, are scared of little things when little things aren't going to touch us or hurt us in any way. Um, and, and we should be enjoying the beauty of them when we see them and not be saying, oh, I don't like that, because we have been told, in a sense, that they're not good, so you can't love them. You can't care for them. And I suppose that even goes back to ourselves. The little that we love ourselves means we less care for ourselves. It means that we how would I say, we run ourselves down consciously in our mind. You know, we think we're not good enough or we become so anxious and so worried over things and over things maybe that we believe other people think of us when most of the time other people don't even notice. They, they don't have, they're not looking down on you. You know, they haven't noticed that you haven't, what would I say? You, you haven't done that thing perfect. Because when you love yourself more and the more people that are around you that love themselves more, they don't see those imperfect things in you that you believe you have. And that is, I think that is so beautiful. Imagine you just loving yourself a little bit more and all those imperfect things you thought of yourself start to disappear and you become more confident in yourself. You have more belief in yourself because you have decided to loosen that iron steel belt, that buckle, you've loosened it a, no a notch, let's say, and you find that in your life that that alone has made a huge difference because then that gives you courage that you might, you know, loosen it another little bit. And I'm always saying how, it, how important it is for us to love ourselves you know, even just that little bit more. 
And in a sense, you can't even get... I, I, I find it so hard even to describe the words of how that changes you in loving yourself. I'd love to see you all today. Just say you love a cup of coffee or an ice cream, whatever you would love today. Just go and get yourself one and stand there or sit wherever you are. You know, even if you're sitting on a wall and you're you're in the city or or you you know you decide to sit under a tree or you you go back to your car just to say you've bought yourself an ice cream and you're saying I'm buying this because I love me. I love me. And wherever you sit or wherever you stand, that every mouthful or every taste in your mouth that you really enjoy it but you're so conscious of this enjoyment this taste that it's loving you that you are actually doing this to love you and I think that's something we seldom do like we're in a rush sometimes or you know, we're in work and we drink a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or we're eating our lunch, but we're eating it fast. And sometimes we say, oh, that was lovely. I enjoy that. But just think about it. How much did you really enjoy it in loving yourself? You know, it's like just become conscious of it. You know, that you have loosened that belt, that steel belt, that buckle. You've pulled it back and you have decided to treat yourself once a day, you know, and even if you find that too hard, say to yourself, well, then every second day I'm going to treat myself, but I'd love to see you do it every day. It could be the simplest little thing that you do. It could be that you take a moment to be outside on your own, you know, or you take a moment to stand at the door or at the window, or you take a moment, you know, on your bicycle, you go for that cycle, that two minute cycle, and you allow yourself to be free in loving you. I guess in a way, loving yourself is being free. Because when you love yourself, you're connecting even more to your soul, to your spiritual self, that other half of you, you know, and you're bringing, I, I always say you're bringing the, the human part of you closer to your soul, to the spiritual part of you, and you're making that connection even stronger. Maybe if you could think of that every day and you say, I'm going to do something for myself today. And it's possible that, you know, you can be so busy and you forget, and then suddenly you remember, I know that would be your guardian angel reminding you you know, or maybe even the soul of a loved one to love you just a little bit more. And whatever it is you decide to do, you know, in loving yourself, whether it's a little treat, as I said, I remember one day for myself, you know, my guardian angel said, Lorna, you haven't loved yourself today. You've been so busy. You haven't actually had time for you to allow your soul to come forward in a more loving way of loving you. And my guardian angel is always reminding me of that. So I took a moment. I took that little break. And I know I'm always getting cups of tea. That just be me loving myself. But this day, I opened the door and I went out into the garden and there was Angel Hostess just standing there and dressed in his usual 
clothing, like a, like as I always say, like a professor out of a college with his cloak and his funny shaped hat. And he said, Lorna, come over this way because I know you will love this. And it was like, how would I say, I just took those few steps forward. And I became so conscious of loving me that it was like as if I was walking on air. I was making that spiritual connection, that human connection to my soul. I was just loving me for that moment. And the next minute a butterfly came flying towards us and just landed on my shoulder just about here you know, and just down from the shoulder a little bit. And I turned my head and looked at it and raised my arm. And I, I just enjoyed that moment. And it probably was only a few seconds. And then the butterfly flew away. And how would I say this? It was like as if as well, in loving myself, and that human connection to my soul of loving me a little bit more was like a big breath. A big, big breath of the universe, of everything. And then I just sighed and let it out slowly. And I walked back into the house to finish my work. But I felt like a new person. I felt, you know, joy, happiness. I felt I can accomplish what I have to do today and um, with no problem. And I went in with confidence within myself. So I would love you all just to try and love yourself a little bit more, even once a day. Give yourself a little treat, even if it is only for a minute. A minute can feel like uh, an eternity, I'm trying to say the word properly. Um, but it fills you with life because again, in loving yourself a little bit more, that spark of light of your soul, you know, that fills every part of you that God has given you, a part of God's self and is out there, is how can I say, you, you just become connected a little bit more as well. And you're happy. You feel much, much happier. And a lot of fears and anxiety um, disappear. You become more confident in yourself because you start to believe in you. So I better not go on too long because I don't want to bore you in any way. Um, but I'd love you just to Maybe start today, you know, love yourself a little bit more. So I'm going to say love and bless you. Bye bye.